What's up? I'm Tom O'Gorman. We're going to do a walk around of my 2001 Honda S2000 here at Lime Rock Park for Grid Life Circuit Legends. Tom O'Gorman for the 17th time this season will pick up the checkered flag. All right, so we'll jump in first to the engine bay, and this is one of the infamous ASM S2000s. Uh, ASM is pretty, uh, pretty famous for the K24 swaps that Andy has really, really developed. ASM being Andy Smedegard Motorsports, and this is one of many uh, infamous ASM K24 swapped S2000s. So if you see, all of these cars are very similar to each other. Uh, this is the one I get to sit in though, so it's my favorite. Uh, it's K24A2. Uh, it kind of doesn't matter what K24 you put in, but the, the key with this is we've been running so many cars for so long that we really know what parts to put on them. So we fixed a lot of resonance problems, a lot of vibration problems that come with the K24. Uh, we got the K-Power intake manifold. We kind of just build whatever intake we need for that. Um, run it off of a Haltech ECU. And other than a couple of adapters to make it mate to the, uh, the S2000 transmission, it's a very simple engine that drops right in. And at this point, Andy can throw one in in two hours all by himself. So we're making about, uh, it's completely as, as tuned out as we can run on E85. We're making about 205 horsepower consistently. Uh, and in Gridlife Touring Cup, it's all power to weight ratio. So as much power as we can possibly make, we just make the, the weight match that, and we're good to go. So moving around to the side, we have our suspension package. We run uh, mainly a Moton double adjustable shock. Um, makes the car super compliant, super friendly for bumps, for curbs. Uh, and then inside that, we run a Hawk brake setup and stock hardware. These S2000s have such good brakes. No one can believe that we run stock hardware, but uh, you don't need a big brake kit. You don't need anything fancy for an S2000. Stock brakes, good pads, that's all you need. So then we come to what truly puts everything to the ground, our wheel and tire setup. And we really, this is super important for our GLTC class. We have a tire size. This is a 255 Kumo V730. We can pick a couple different tires. But more importantly, we have no wheel restrictions for width, size, any of that. So we want the biggest wheel possible to run this tire. This is an 18 by 10 and a half Koenig Hypergram, uh, obviously five by 114 to fit the S2000. But if you were to put this tire on an eight inch rim, it's not gonna behave the way it does on a 10 and a half inch rim. So we're allowed to get away with a lot with this wheel. This wheel is what part of what makes this car so fast. Um, if we were not on this size wheel, or if this wheel wasn't an option, we wouldn't be as quick as we are. Now we head in the car. Best part. And welcome to my office. Very bare bones in here. We don't want any extra weight. Um, could be cleaned up maybe a little bit more, but it does the job better than it should. Run everything off of the Haltech ECU, Haltech Elite 1500, and then an AIM PDM and full dash setup. So we have all the data we could want. Uh, I can diagnose what I'm doing, I can diagnose what all my teammates are doing, and we can compare all that data to make your, uh, your drive as fast as possible. So the nice part about the AIM setup here is it's all automated. As soon as I turn the car on, dash comes on. As soon as I start moving, my camera here comes on. I work as a professional driver coach to make my living, so for me to never miss a session with data, video, I love that for any car, so the fact that I don't have to think about it for myself is my favorite. Uh, down in the corner, we have our fire suppression, which we have to run. Always pull the pin out before, and then if I really have an emergency, I just pull this little lever right here. Hope we never have to use that bad boy. K Clown Shoe on Instagram did our uh, does all of our cages. You can see it's beautiful, nice and spacious, um, but super, super safe, which is what we want for those car seat. Uh, the seat we had laying around. <laughs> the Recaro seat. Uh, this is the first race car I've had in a while that's like fitted for me. So I like that, but. <laughs> On the back, we run a little bit of aero. These S2000s are really, uh, they're really tail happy. They're a little bit notorious. So they do need a little bit of rear arrow. This takes a bit of a weight hit for us in GLTC, but it's super, super important. Zebulon makes these nice, just bolt right onto the car basically. And we head around the front. And we can pick and choose how much arrow we want to run. So you can see we have factory body work, but we do have a little under tray right here that helps kind of guide the arrow around the front of the car, make as much arrow as we possibly can without having to take a penalty for it. Uh, and this roof scoop or hood scoop is also super helpful for arrow. Really gets all of the hot air out of under the middle of the car and gets the front end pushed in. So that's my ASM Honda S2000 we race in Grid Life Touring Cup. Uh, it really is all possible thanks to ASM for building the car. I work really closely with everybody here. Um, Hawk brakes, Haltech ECU, and Koenig wheels makes an S2000 go fast. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching. My name's Tom O'Gorman. You can find me at Tomo Racing, uh, or if you're looking for some driver coaching, you can look at the AS Motorsports.us website. It'll get you faster on track. Go drive race cars.